What is going on everybody? This is the Fresh Baked Goods and thank you for clicking on another Hella Loose video. Now I have spent a lot of time in tanks in this game and I know the player base is still growing and even then the majority of experienced players probably still haven't even stepped foot in a tank yet. So it feels like every day I'm seeing a lot of the same mistakes be made by players over and over again. So today let's talk about five mistakes you're probably making in tanks while playing Hell at Loose. Number one and probably the most important if you take away anything from this video is you don't understand understand the mechanics or the tank meta in this game. Now I'm not going to go through every tank on where to shoot and where all the weak spots are. There's already so many good resources out there for that, but the best one without a doubt is the tank bible. If you've never looked at this or you're interested in taking hell loose, I highly recommend looking at it. I'll put down the link in the description and in the comments, but the dudes over at the line created this and it is the best place to find tank information for hell at loose. There's so much misinformation out there for tanking in this game, whether it be content, comments on social media, discord, reddit, steam, there is an incredible amount of people that get things wrong in this game when all you have to do is look at the tank bible for the right answer. And the second part of this point is the tank meta itself. You should always have the goal in mind to get as many heavy tanks out on the field as possible. That is unless you want to drive something smaller just for the fuck of it. But if you are playing competitively, heavy tanks are the way to go. And I can't believe the amount of people that try engaging heavy tanks from the front when they're in a medium or a light tank. It is absolutely insane how people don't understand the tank mechanics in this game game and that heavy tanks still rule all. You should always wait the extra few minutes for a heavy tank rather than burning fuel on a medium tank that will just dump getting destroyed by the enemy's heavy tank. If you do that and you're not waiting for heavy tank, you're actually hurting your overall team fuel economy because while you're burning fuel with these mediums, the enemy team is now just gaining and gaining more fuel while their heavies out there destroying you. Mistake number two I'm seeing a lot is playing too aggressively. Gone are the days of full sending all the time in this game. If you want to be successful in a tank, you have to play conservatively. A tank that is in a defensive position and lets the enemy come to them will always have the advantage. Not only because it is much easier to shoot a tank while stationary, but because you will probably already most likely be in a position with angles. I see way too commonly a crew get a tank and they just send it off in enemy territory all alone only to get destroyed by AT or just run into the firing line of an enemy tank. You have to take your time, you have to read the map, and if you think there's something in front of you, there probably is. Mistake number three, and that is you get off to a bad start. The starting tanks in the game may not cost your team any resources, but you should look at them as if they do. You keep that starting medium alive by taking out the other medium, you're just banking fuel man while the enemy team's burning it. You're only hurting yourself by sending these tanks in just to die immediately from AT or the enemy tank because only two things are going to happen to that one you're going to be waiting longer for a heavy tank and you won't have anything on the field you can use the fuel you already have and just send another medium out but then what was the point of that first one the tanks at the start of a match can give you an awesome advantage if you just keep them alive for the first 10 to 15 minutes you will then have enough fuel to spawn a new heavy and get things started as let's say you do die the enemy gets the better of you if you're not building nodes immediately while that heavy cooldown's going around you're hurting yourself by not switching over to infantry real fast and getting those nodes up. Plus, if there's a bunch of crews and you go to the commander and say, hey, yo, guess who got you those fuel nodes? They're gonna be more inclined to give you the heavy tank when other people are asking for it. Mistake number four is you're not using infantry. And don't misunderstand me when I say use infantry support. Infantry support is a myth in this game. Sometimes you get lucky and infantry will see a guy running around your tank and kill you, but unless you're working with people you know as infantry, nine times out of 10, infantry is not looking out for you. Do not depend on random infantry in this game to watch your ass, because they won't. What I mean by use infantry is use them as a human shield. I'm not joking. Position your tank behind the front line, behind the push, and if you do this correctly, you won't see too many ATs or satchels getting around you. And at the same time, you're also helping your team. It's when a tank goes off on their own that they're at their most vulnerable. If you sit behind infantry, you're going to be more successful. Range is your best friend in this game. Keep infantry between you and the enemy, destroy any tanks you see, and then in between, absolutely fuck the enemy team up. And mistake number five is you're not using the map and you're not communicating. I wanted to put these two together because they're more of the same. You might have heard me say this before, but tank marks in this game win tank battles. Much of Hella Loose tanking is who shoots who first. So if you know where the enemy tank is, that's half the battle. So if you're not asking for tank marks, if you're not telling SLs and the commander to call out tanks, what they see, what kind of tanks they are, where they're going, as much information as possible, you're only hurting yourself. And if you're not marking tanks for your fellow tank crews, but a lot of times they'll save your ass when they need to. I know this mainly applies to the tank commander, but you see so much up there that the rest of the team's not. And this isn't just enemy tanks and infantry. You're going to see a lot of 
of airheads, a lot of enemy supplies that the rest of the team is going to miss. And you need to call those out if you want to win the games. But again, the bottom line, tank marks win tank battles. Constantly ask for tank marks, especially if you're hearing shots out there. If you hear a tank shot, there's a tank out there. If you open up the map and there's no tank mark, start asking people where the fuck this tank is, because I guarantee you one of those SLs knows. If you're not using your map properly and not communicating with the rest of your team, you're constantly putting yourself at a disadvantage in this game. But hey, that's five quick tips for tanking in this game. If you guys want more of these videos, please let me know down in the comments. It also helps if you uh, like the video. If you're new around here, maybe subscribe. But thank you for everything you do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you dudes on the front line.